<sighs> I'm gonna do this because it's not like me, you know, to be all like we defeated ourselves and shit, you know. I actually feel much better after I joined Uptown's hangout. So, uh, congratulations, uh, Washington football team, you know. I did say we beat ourselves. You know what? I'm not going to hide the video or do none of that shit. You know, I was salty, you know. We can sit here and talk about, uh, you know, I did, you know, bring up injuries. But at the same time, you know, we wasn't blaming injuries when we were up 17 to nothing. That's why I didn't, I didn't bother putting 100% on that, you know. Injury-wise, though, we are fucked as far as the season goes. Unless, you know, we can get players to come right back. You know, we're going to have to rape the shit out of free agency or something, man. Trade, do whatever, because it's just, oh, man. But congratulations to Washington, man. They beat us. Um, they beat us, you know, put it into the sixth game losing streak, you know. They beat us. You know, they, they, they made adjustments, and, uh, you know, they made adjustments, and, um, you know, we just, the team, the Eagles got too comfortable. They got too comfortable. You know, Carson Wentz, look, I, I've, i you know, I always defend my quarterback, but I also give him his fair share of criticism. And this game, he did not look good at all. He did not look good at all. I mean, well, the first half, he was very dominant, but, you know. You know, he made Washington seem like their defense was overhyped after all. But, but, you know. Oh, but the second half, like I say, they made adjustments. You know, Dwayne Haskins, I don't even think he was all at this game, but he did enough to win the game, and that's all that matters, you know. It doesn't matter if you got 10 yards or 300 yards, you know. As long as you get that win, you know, that's that that's that's good on you, you know. Us on the other hand, you know, our defense, I don't really have anything bad to say about our defense. I know we gave up like 27 points, but that's likely to happen if your offense don't do your job, you know. The defense is going to get gassed out. You know, um I've honestly I I saw, I saw a massive um I seen a massive um, you know, improvement, you know, from our secondary. Cuz I mean, you know, compared to last year, we went against uh, Cam, uh, uh, what's his name, Case Keenum. When we went against Case Keenum, and um, what else, man? Uh, um, Dwayne Haskins last time, we gave up so many yards. It was like we, we made these, these guys look like elite and shit, you know. But this time, I seen some good coverage, though. I seen some good coverage. We didn't simply give up first downs or none of that, you know. If only the offense did a much better job, you know, this defense would easily shut them down. But you know what, man? It's it's part of football, man. Um, you know, it is what it is. I mean, I did say we defeated ourselves, but, you know, um, I actually feel a lot better, man. But, hey, you know what? The Dallas Cowboys lost. You know, they lost to the uh, to the Rams. You know what? I picked the Cowboys to win, but, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm always down for a Cowboys L. That makes me feel better. But, I mean, we can we can clown them all we want. You know, I can make a, I can make a whole video and say, hey, just checking to see if y'all still them boys, you know. But, you know, no, I ain't going to do that this time, you know. Eagles, you know, we got to uh, – you know, I can sit here and say we need to do a lot better. I mean, but injuries, man, it's going to be a long season. That's what I originally meant. You know, it's going to be a long season, you know, with injuries and everything, you know. Will Park's going to be out for a while. Um, you know, it's good to see Rager was back. You know, he 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 had some uh, good plays or whatnot. He was – he caught a wide open – he caught an open pass, you know, a deep pass. That was, uh, you know, that was exciting to see. Um, he could have had, he could have had another one, but, you know, Wentz, uh, missed that opportunity. Deshaun, likewise with Deshaun Jackson, you know, Wentz missed that opportunity. Deshaun wasn't even involved, you know, in the game all like that. Um, no idea what that was about, but, you know, it is what it is, man. Um, you know what, man? I'm not, I'm gonna be real with you, man. I'm gonna be real with you. 
Oh, one more thing. Wentz getting five sack. Uh, not not sack five times. Eight times. My bad. Eight times. Look, Washington. We should not. We should not allow uh, Washington to get you know eight sacks. You know, all that could have been avoided. You know, Wentz could have thrown the ball away. But uh, that's an issue right there. I mean, I know, I know, I know we got to make plays and everything. But Wentz, you got to learn to throw the ball away, man. You really do. That that's that's a big critic I got with him right here. You know, Wentz got to throw the ball away. You, you, I'm sure he knows how it goes. You know, I'm sure he knows exactly how it goes. If only we threw the ball away much more often, Washington probably would have got maybe at least maybe four or five sacks. But for the most part, you know, when Wentz threw those interceptions, a lot of that had to do with the pressure. But, I mean, but at the same time, you know, like I say, I'm not going to blame injuries on this game. I mean, even though the outcome, yes, the outcome would have been much different. You know, um, Washington wouldn't even had a chance if we were hurting. But like I say, I'm not going to blame 100 percent on the injuries because we wasn't, you know, this, it didn't seem to be a problem. When we were 17 and, you know, when we was up 17, nothing. It didn't seem like it was a problem when we were up 17, nothing. You know, uh, the Dan Orlowski or whatever his name is, you know, I saw his tweet on uh, Twitter. You know, he said this game was 100 percent on Carson Wentz, you know. If you no know, take Carson Wentz out and yada yada yada, this would have been a problem. You know, I just said it simply. I bet you wasn't saying that in the first half of the game. You know, but anyway, Carson Wentz does deserve the blame. Um, part of it for this L, um, I will say that, and definitely the offensive line. The defense did everything they could. Um, you know, to to hold off of the Redskins. I don't give a damn if the Redskins don't have. I said the Redskins, my bad. The Washington football team. I don't give a damn if they don't have a name. I don't give a damn if they don't have a mascot. I don't even give a damn if they don't have cheerleaders. In the end, they're still the same Washington team, you know, from last year. We took that L. Um, you know, they well, they they gave us a run for our money last year. You know, we would do we would do for an L. I mean, I I, I would never look forward to it though. I would never look forward to it, but I mean, at least it happened week one, you know, rather take the L now than take it later on in the season. Um, at least we know what the problem is with this team. Um, not saying much about wide receivers. I felt like they did pretty good. Uh, tight ends, you know, we didn't really use them all like that. Not all like that, but the times we did use them, you know, Zach Ertz and uh, Dallas Goddard both looked pretty good. You know, that's that's as expected. Um, didn't really run the ball um, as much as we really should. But, you know, I know we didn't have Miles Sanders. I know Boston Scott got shaken up. Uh, no idea what happened there. But Corey Clement played. And, um, you know, I, kinda, I don't really think we used Corey Clement, to be honest with you all like that. It was either him and uh, Jason Hutley, that's his name, something like that. Um, I don't know, y'all. All I'm going to say is... Uh, we, we took this L, you know, and of all teams, it's a team with no name, you know. That's what people seem to really be clowning us about. But, I mean, Washington just gives us a run for our money. I, I don't give a damn if they don't have a name. It is what it is, you feel me? It is what it is. But anyway, man, I got to eat this crow, though. I got to eat this crow because, I mean, me saying we defeated ourselves. I know I said it last year when we lost to the Lions. Um, you know, even though, you know, I said, even though I fucks with DVE, but, you know, I was salty that L right there. But this game against the, uh, football team, man, they finally, they finally got their win for the first time in about three seasons. So, fuck it. I'm gonna give it to them. I'm gonna give it to them. I'm gonna give them this dub. But I tell you this, though, Washington football team, we will be back. We will be back. Next time we meet. You know what? Fuck it. I'll get back to the trash talk. We're going to prove to you next time we see you is that this win y'all got was nothing more than a fluke. I guarantee you that. We'll see you next time. But until then, it's on to the Rams. And Rams, good, good luck on the W, beating the Cowboys, bringing those bitches back to reality. 
you know, because they was talking a lot of shit when we lost to the Washington football team. But you know what? <laughs> They're not saying much now, though, are they? Anyway, no, we got them. No, we got them. We're hosting them at the link. And you know what, man? I don't know how we're going to do this with all these injuries. But you know what, man? <sighs> I would never take, I would never just say we're going to lose. I don't know. But I know I also got to be realistic in the Stephen Rose tournament. But anyway, we'll see what happens. As far as Carson Wentz saying he's got to do better and everything, the same old talk. Look, talk is cheap at this point. I heard, I heard this but so many times. Just take it to the field. You feel me? Take it to the field. Offensive line, oh, my God. We need, we need to fix up the right side of the field. We don't have – when Brandon Brooks out for the year, no idea what happened with Lane Johnson. I don't know. But we need to change it up. <sighs> anyway, guess that's all I got to say, man. Shout out to Big Simple. Shout out to uh, – shout out to the football team fans, man. I still can't imagine being a fan of y'all franchise when y'all y'all don't even have a name. I mean – I don't fucking know. But anyway, congrats on y'all win. And uh, yeah, congrats to Big Simple. Congrats to Louis T. Congrats to, uh, I don't know who else, really. No idea who else. Anyway, so I got to say, on the week two, we're on one. Cowboys, on one. Giants, pff, I'm definitely going to say they're going to be on one. And it's funny because someone said that the Washington football team could be the only one and no team in the division. <laughs> and man, they I believe they called it. But hey, whatever, man. Anyway. Uh, let's just uh let's just move on to week two, man. We took the loss. It is what it is. You know, injuries. See what we could do about that. But uh this had to be one of the worst losses though. This had to be one of the worst losses. One of the worst. But it is what it is. It's all part of football. All I'm going to say is I'm just happy football is back, man. I'm just happy football is back. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Guess I'm going to call it a night. Holler at y'all later on. And as always, fly goes fly.